real people exploring our environment. That's Eco Hula. Today on Eco Hula. And now we need tortillas. The challenge for us tonight, we ladies are going to go out and see how turtles really work. We're going to watch turtles lay eggs and the reason it's night out is they come up because they feel more protected in the evening. And so it's a challenge because we're not sure what we're going to see this evening and if we're going to just go for it and have the experience. So you ready? ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Woo! Oh, high five. <laughs> <laughs> We're here this evening with Paul Sanchez Navarro, my old friend. We've been coming back for years learning at Akamal all about Centro Ecological Eco. Can you help me? How do I pronounce this? Centro Ecologico Akamal. Wonderful. That sounds so romantic with that accent. Too. But here's why we're here. We're learning more about turtles. And I want you to tell me, tell me about the turtles and what we're going to be seeing tonight on our journey out to watch a, a turtle lay her sure. eggs. Well, first of all, Akamal means the place of the turtle in Maya. So the beaches of, the, of this coast have always been important nesting beaches for the, let me see if I can remember it in English, <laughs> the longer head and the green turtles. They nest here. There's different turtles that nest along the coast, but those are the ones that nest in Akamal. So what, and we have a 13-year-old program that protects the beaches basically during nesting season. So we, we uh, patrol the beach during, while the mother is nesting, mm -hmm. measure her, count her, see if she has a tag. Uh, take the number on the tags. We can have some data to find out what's going on with the turtles. Wonderful. When they are in the ocean, what is it that the little babies eat? Well, there's a lot we don't know about them, about as far as where they go. They start eating seaweed mostly at first. The little babies actually eat a little bit of everything. They eat a little bit of jellyfish, mainly whatever they can find. It's not until they're almost at reproductive sign or the young adults that they start eating seagrass, the, the green turtles. They eat, when they're adults, they only eat seagrass. But then you have the loggerheads that eat um, Jellyfish. <laughs> so they eat a variety of things. Hawksbills eat crabs and crustaceans and um, shells, cooks. Mm -hmm. So they just eat, the, but, the, but the other turtles are omnivores and the green turtles are herbivores. Well, thank you very much for chatting with us. Let's go see some turtles. Hopefully we'll see one next. <laughs> the best thing is stay about four, at least four feet away mm -hmm. and just sit and watch. It's a beautiful thing. I've seen it so many times, but every time I see it, it's amazing to watch the eggs the, the struggle. If you have a lot of time, it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to dig the nest, find the place you want to dig, dig a hole, drop the eggs, because we're talking 110 eggs, and they come out one or two at a time, and this really gooey saliva that poking you see tonight, it protects them. And then she covers it back up, and then she rests a little bit, breathes really heavily, and then starts her way back to the ocean. Fantastic evening. We got to see amazing things. Turtles actually laying their eggs and also we got to see them measuring. And thank you so much for joining us on our journey. You're quite welcome and I'm glad you came by to see the whole Terrific. thing. Terrific. Alright, let's go hop in the ocean. Great. <laughs> Ready? Akamal Bay has a large population of green turtles, and here you see one right below us. Oh, how cool is he? They're herbivores, the green turtles, and grazing like cattle on the sea grasses found along the Mayan Riviera coastline is what they do all day long. What a life, huh? Both green and loggerhead turtles have nests averaging 110 turtle eggs. That's incredible. It's really sad too because only one sea turtle baby and over a thousand hatched survive. Samara, the kiddo, and me, we're snorkeling with the turtles in their native environment. It's so empowering. Swimming with the turtles allows us to see how often they come up for air. And sea turtles can hold their breath for over five hours. But these juveniles came up between big, giant bites of seagrass.
absolutely wonderful. Swimming with sea turtles, best adventure ever. Or that. If you are living near an ocean area and you have a beach, protect it. This is what Paul is doing here in Akamal. And the whole idea is that we're taking care of the earth and we're doing something good. And having a fun time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Next time on Eco Hua. Do you like the look?